Yo, what is up my crazy subscribers and Christmas noobs? This is Joking John 74 and welcome to my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this class setup because this class setup is pretty much taken from MW3, it was my P90. If you guys have seen my old gameplays from Modern Warfare 3, you should know that this class setup is the same one from Modern Warfare 3. And I'm telling you, it does work from short range though. Do not be using this gun from medium to big ass maps. Do not use it, alright? Only use it like on Tremor strike zone and some other few ones out there that are pretty small maps so do not use this weapon from medium and to large size maps all right i'm giving you a heads up so um the reason why is because this weapon does not have the range you know kind of class setup going on here this class setup is mostly set up for small maps all right i'm just giving you a little bit of a heads up so let's get it started the weapon is called the mtar x is located in the smg division the attachments you're going to be adding to this weapon will be a silencer and the foregrip now the silencer is for you to keep your stealth out there in the battlefield the same way i have it on, on my uh, p90 from modern warfare 3 it should be able to keep your stealth out there while the other attachment will be the foregrip the foregrip will be great to add to this weapon because the weapon does shake a lot all right the weapon is terrible from aiming down the field so what we want to do is keep our accuracy from short range so it can be more powerful and more accurate towards a headshot that's what we're trying to do here. The MTAR X is pretty great to take out from uh, take out enemies from short range because you're going to be getting headshots from short range. You're going to be able to surprise the enemy because your, your bullets are going to be more accurate than the enemies. So moving on to the lethal and the tactical, it is going to be the Semtex and the flashbang, or you can have whatever you want. You can have the nine bang, you can have the regular grenade, you can have whatever you want. But overall, preferably myself, I like to use the Semtex and the flashbang. Moving on to the perks will be the ready up, slide of hand, stalker, and off the grid. Off the grid is mostly like ghost from um, you know from black ops 2, from modern warfare 3. It's the same thing. Off the grid is going to keep you off the radar. So that with along with the silencer in your weapon you're pretty much gonna be uh you know undetectable out there unless the enemies know your footsteps that's the only thing about the you know about this whole class setup your footsteps are going to be pretty much loud so unless the enemy you know does not have that perk either so anyways you're going to be able to be sneaking around the map like nothing with off the grid and your silencer on your weapon moving on to the next perk will be the stalker the stalker it is pretty great for short range battles you're going to be able to like move around while you're aiming real quick and the enemy is going to be aiming in one direction but they're going to be, they're not going to be able to keep up with you because you're moving from left to right as quick as possible that's why i'm telling you right now giving you a little quick tip right now every time you aim from a short range battle make sure you move also move to the left move to the right like like uh, you're trying to duke him out that's the point of stalker it's not because you have to move forward and uh you know you're gonna be you're gonna be aiming and you're gonna be moving forward fast no that's not the point the point is is to for you to move from left to right as quick as possible so the enemy can can miss all them shots all right that's why stalker is there for Moving on to the next perk will be the sleight of hand. You gotta be reloading as quick as possible because this weapon is mostly be it's gonna be used for short range battles. So there's always gonna be an enemy behind the enemy. All right, you're never gonna go wrong with that. Moving on to the next perk will be ready up. The reason why we need ready up is because every time you're gonna end up sprinting, you're gonna have to be ready up. You're gonna be have to be ready to take on an enemy from short range because this weapon and this class setup does not have marathon or lightweight. So you're gonna be mostly playing the patience game all right this this is going to require a lot of patience with the weapon because you're not going to be fast out there and you don't have marathon you don't have lightweight so we're going to be playing the patience game and you're going to be able to take out enemy enemies as quick as possible because the ready up is going to be there for you and you're going to be ready for anything from a short range action moving on to the strike package you can have whatever you want so this is all for now guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the mtar x class setup because i think it's a pretty good class setup i took it from modern warfare 3 from my p90 class setup so you're pretty much gonna see some history behind the p90 and then you're gonna be able to see like all right you know that p90 actually works then it should be able to work on the mtar x which i have tried out for the past two weeks and it has worked from short range battles so leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up guys and i'll see you guys later and enjoy your day